Zaps 132. More organizing. And then some. Welcome, you guys. Zaps. Number 132, Chris Borges, First the Beast Podcast. Zombie Apocalypse Pandemic Survivor. You're listening to this is your host, Chris Borges. Uh, thank you all for tuning in, family, friends, guests, uh, and new followers and subscribers. Thank you all for tuning in to Anchor or YouTube or Twitch or whatever uh, whatever platform you're watching this from. Um, if you guys don't know who I am, my name's Chris Borges. Um, I guess you could call me online entertainer slash um, worker, active worker slash uh, uh, podcast host, daily podcast host slash musician slash author slash uh, artist, painter, uh, slash video game creator, slash, uh, way photographer, uh, slash body border, f- uh, body border, slash fisherman, slash, uh, fil- filmmaker, slash actor, slash, uh, all that kind of stuff, all that kind of good stuff that I do. So yeah, I do a whole bunch of stuff, uh, uh, it, with, uh, with my, with all my businesses, I have about 15 businesses that I do. Uh, that I ch- chip away at, uh, you know, once uh, a little, a little at a time every single day. Um, I don't go to vacation. I don't, I don't take any time off. I, I'm usually just if I'm not doing something, I'm doing something else. If you know what I mean. So yeah, just, um, and just as the uh, the topic for today is organize organization and then some. Yeah, it's exactly what I've been doing. It's just organizing all my things. I notice the more I go into like all my to do lists and all that kind of stuff, and I bang everything out. Next thing you know. I get, you know, for example, like uh, I just, I just got, I just went, did a whole bunch of errands, uh, dropped off a whole bunch of orders at the post office at UPS and uh, USPS actually, UPS Ground and actually U, uh, United States po- Postal Service post post office. Um, had just a couple of orders, but over the weekend I had about like I guess maybe five, six, seven, eight orders, um, which is kind of a lot for me within a week, um, just as far as my sales go in general. Um, and the reason being is because I did a 30% off. If you guys like to check out my actual eBay store, it's it's uh, it's called Borges Bay One, and it's on the top right link of uh, Zaps Podcast and the uh, and Nalu um, and my music channel that's also connected to it. Um, but it, it's just right there. Nalu and e- my Borges Bay One eBay store is right next to each other on the top right banner of this uh, YouTube of the YouTube so of the YouTube channel. So <clears throat> if you guys are on Anchor, just go on top of my YouTube. The YouTube Zaps, Zombie Apocalypse Pandemic Survivors. Look up Zaps or Zombie Apocalypse Pandemic Survivors. You should find me easily in the YouTube search bar. Yeah, so you can check out that. And, yeah, I just have a, a you know, for December, I have a, a whole, like, all my items are, you know, and that's insane. 30% off, that's almost 50% off of everything. So um, I just wanted to give a really good deal for everybody um, just for the holidays and stuff and, uh, you know, I don't have, like, super good stuff in there yet. In, in my store, I still have to post everything up, and I still have to get a whole bunch of shipment shipment orders in and all that kind of stuff. So um, once I post it up, uh, there should be some pretty good stuff during uh, Christmas time. So definitely go check check out Borges Bay 1 if you guys uh, would like to buy buy something, support my channel. You know, um, con- con- you know, you can contribute in that way if you like to just get something small or something like that. Yeah, I got a whole – I mean, I sell a lot of things from small things to big things. All kind of stuff from little little gadgets to little tools to bigger tools to knickknacks, knives, uh, collectibles, um, elect, you know, electronic cell phones, laptops, uh, electronic gear, music gear, um, all that kind of stuff. I even I have puzzles out right now. I have I always have daily new stock all the time inside of my store. Um, <clears throat> uh, and if if you're having trouble in any any way, shape, or form, just give me a you know. You know what I did? I j- I actually paused right now. I apologize, to you guys. Actually, I didn't record on on uh, the anchor on top of my phone. Um, so only now it's picking it up. So they're gonna have to just go off of this. So again, if you guys want to check it, check it out, because um, I'm not I'm not I'm not redoing this. I don't have time. So um, sorry, you guys on anchor, but uh, we're just starting up. This is Zaps 132. So. If you guys want to come check out any of my items on top of my eBay store, that's Borges Bay 1. Or if you're having any trouble at all, you can just message me directly uh, via email. Um, it's, all, it's all lowercase, and it's just imborges87 at gmail.com. Um, that's, again, that's I-A-M-B-O-R-G-E-S 87 at gmail.com. 
and you can message me with any kind of questions or if you have any kind of trouble and stuff like that um, w with any kind of donations, contrib contributions that you may may want to give or, or if you want to buy something on eBay, if you have any questions on, on anything, just give me a give me a, give me me a message. Shoot me an email. So um, with that out of the way, um, yeah, what did I do? I did a whole bunch of crazy stuff right now. Like seriously, like super hard stuff I didn't want to do. Um, and I got it done, actually. So, let's see. First of all, um, oh, yeah, I ordered a new door hinge for my gas cap because that busted right off on accident when I flip, flipped it open when I went to go fill up gas, uh, yesterday or the day before. Um, so I just ordered a new, new hinge, door hinge, and that was 25 bucks, and, uh, that sucks, and that thing is super cheap, and I'm actually thinking about actually siphoning all the gas out and, and literally welding a solid hinge can like just weld it like literally just create it and just have it so that so the gas door hinge doesn't bust anymore i might just have to do that later so that's in the works maybe um i just returned a oem light yes didn't work so i had to return it and they're giving me a replacement actually so thank you guys on amazon i really appreciate that for hooking me up because it doesn't work and it should be replaced and uh thank god they have that service because that's a lot of money um, it was broken. Came in broken. Need 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 a solid one, guys. Thank you. Okay, next one. Um, I did buy a super large jumbo permanent marker. Yes, those huge markers because and it's just for my orders and stuff because I always ha I always have a whole bunch of used boxes that I get from work or I get from here or there wherever I get it from. Um, because I don't like to pay for boxes or or like bubble wrap and all that kind of stuff. So I usually get it from the you know, from, from uh, hand-me-downs or all that kind of stuff. I find it someplace, so. Um, so anyway, I bought a huge Sharpie marker because there's always usually stuff like uh, graffiti or like some kind of, like you know, just not graffiti, but like, um, you know, stickers, business stickers, um, business print on top of the actual cardboard box itself. So it's nice to have a big jumbo marker just to, you know, black it out on, the sm on you know, just major, major parts that could... Potentially, you no know, barcodes and all that kind of stuff, and numbers could potentially mess up uh, or or confuse the actual um, people doing it, uh, the workers and stuff, the post office workers from sending it out correctly. So, got a jumbo marker just for that, just to black out the cardboard um, outsides. That's nice. Um, and then, uh, what else did I do? I also got a uh, donated yesterday. Donated some plasma. That was cool. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, packed up the orders. I got to actually erase that right now on top of my little little book. And then, uh, so next thing we have up is uh, I need to drive on the freeway. Yes, to get my engine check light to run back on, or most cars, you usually have to drive your car from anywhere between like 10 minutes to an hour on the major freeway for like 55 to 65 miles per hour, like consistently for, for the check engine light to, to come back on after it's been cleared. All the codes have been cleared from the mechanic or whoever did it. You uh, independently by yourself, you or the mechanic or somebody uh, erased all the codes. So that's what, that's what's going on. That's because I need to see if any, any codes disappeared or any, or if any new codes popped up from my actual mechanic service. Um, so I have to do that. Um, I don't have time today because I have to go to work really quick uh, in just a second, and uh, I have to uh, I have to get that done tomorrow. And the thing is, I hate the freeway. I just replaced the axle, so I'm kind of actually scared. I'm not scared. It's just I don't like to ride the freeway in general because it's just a little bit more dangerous than regular roads. Um, and that's just the way I've always been. I try to actually avoid the freeway at all costs because. Um, usually there's like some kind of accident or it's just like really crazy fast. And like, you know, I'm from, you know, I'm from the islands, you know, I'm from where it's like 40 miles an hour my whole life. You know, I just, I'm just not super used to the fastness of the, uh, the freeway and stuff like that. So I don't like to go onto it and I don't want to go, you know, 30 minutes or an hour driving 60 and stuff down the freeway, but I have to do it to get the check engine light on. So we're going to do that tomorrow. You know, it's happening tomorrow. Um, I still have to organize a whole bunch of stuff in my room, so we still got to organize, uh, a lot of stuff in, in the room, and we got to go to the freeway tomorrow, 
And a major one that I've been putting off for a long time, uh, a little a little thing that's actually a big thing. It's kind of like the meat and potatoes of, of this entertainment podcast site and the central, the central business of my hub is my actual own website. The thing is why it's so difficult right now is because I don't want to go through it wrong and I know professional entertainer friends and stuff like that who actually have their own website and, and it looks professional as hell and the thing is they're super busy they're always they're always doing online stuff and working so i'm hoping if i can't catch one of my friends um tomorrow or in the next few days hopefully and um you know pay him a couple bucks just to just to give me a uh you know a, a a wraparound or or exactly show me exactly how uh, or just what websites to go to to uh, do do the website exactly like they did because they do they I seen their website and it has like everything like Twitter Facebook TikTok it has all those sites with the links and all that kind of stuff so they know exactly what they're doing um, with that and that's exactly what I want to do with my with my website because I want my website to uh, be the central hub to actually have the links and the nice the nice YouTube links the nice. Facebook, the nice Twitch, the nice Twitter, the nice tis- TikTok, etc., etc., etc. I want to have all those sites available to click on on my actual website so that everyone can can know w- where my web is, my central web hub is of all my social media sites and that kind of stuff. So super important. It's like the meat and potatoes of the whole thing because if you can't have a if if everything isn't connected, then people won't won't be able to. F- you know, navigate their way through, through, you know, through your business, through who you are and, and what your services are and all that kind of stuff. So my services are very scattered. I do selling, I do podcasts, day-to-day podcasts of my life and, and uh, topics and interesting topics and all that kind of stuff that I do talking basically. Um, and I also do like, uh, um, a whole bunch of stuff, whole bunch of stuff. I do photography, all the arts and stuff, painting, book writing, um, film, film directing, acting, um, short film animation, all that art, artsy kind of stuff, por- portrait artwork, um, all that kind of stuff. I do all like the arts and stuff like that. So I guess I'm an artist. Um, it, it's a, uh, you know, how do I say? Uh, it's been really tough, and that's how it is, and that's how it's supposed to be. To get higher on on the on the ladder, you have to go through a whole bunch of hard stuff. You know what I mean? It's just there's no way around it. You know, I mean, you just have to just go through it. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to the ringer, getting all this stuff worked out because eventually I'm noticing I'm getting like within just the past week or two weeks of having my 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 zaps actually um, uh, migrated from Anchor to uh, YouTube. I already got like nine or ten subscribers. That's insane for me. Like to have to have that much. I'll put it in perspective. okay? my YouTube, my music YouTube channel, which I actually have a couple of really good songs in there. Guess how much people do only on there. And I've had it for like forever, for like at least two, three, four, five years for sure. I've had that YouTube site. And um, the thing is, I only have like 60 subscribers on there, if that. And that's like, you know, anywhere between two and five years that I've had that that, that YouTube site. And it's connected to uh, Zaps. You can, like, press the Nalu, the Nalu um, uh, official artist band channel link on the top right banner. And it'll take you right to it. And there's only, like, 50, 60 guys subscribed, you know. Now, think of this in perspective. Zaps has, has only been on YouTube for the past two, three, f- maybe even a month, maybe. Um, I don't know exactly because um, I'm horrible with dates. But, um... Yeah, and it already has nine or ten guys, you know. Could you imagine in the next, you know, couple of years, five, ten years? Could be a lot of subscribers. I don't know. So I really had to go. I really had to bite tooth and nail to actually get this podcast in for you guys, and I apologize for the delay yesterday. I just was way too busy. There was just way too much stuff going on. I had no time. But I actually finally got a little bit organized to the point where I can actually do this podcast for you guys. And uh, I have to say that everything's going great. Um, I have my guitar. I have my iPod. Um, my guitar my iPod. I have money. Uh, I got rent. I got food. Um, I got business, business items coming in. Uh, uh, just ordered coming in. So... 
It's all right. I'm steady flowing right now, better than usual. Now, the thing is, I'm going to go through a, a very strict discipline in the next for the next six months or so, six months to a year, where I'm going to just really be really frugal and not do any vacation, put my head down, and really work to get this business up and running because I really want this business, this conglomeration, which is my corporation, which is... Um, which is Bor uh 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 how do you call it? Borges Empire, I guess what uh Borges Empire, Borges Media, I forget what it's called, or just Borges. Um Um it's gonna be my last name, is the company name. And uh, it's gonna be a conglomeration of all my art art forms put together into one huge service. So all this stuff, this is the main central hub, Zap, Zombie Apocalypse, Pandemic Survival, Chris Borges vs. the Beast Podcast is in fact the main central hub for my business. This is this is like the the this is ground zero for me, um, and you know I truly believe that um, you know uh, having a you know having a main central hub is very critical into into all my little businesses that I have going. You know the 10, 20 businesses that I have set up will be uh, completely encompassing me, so that you know when when you when you're online. A whole bunch of people can see who you are, if they like you or not, if they want to buy your services or if they want to get to know you and and check out your and subscribe to your topics or your channels and all that kind of stuff. So apologize, I apologize, guys, and um, all that kind of stuff. So this is crucial. This is crucial to my survival. All this stuff right here, all this business and stuff that's going on to the business's survival. Um, and the thing is, what did I sell? I sold. Um, I sold some kind of huge. Power plug. I sold a very huge, like, you know, like, construction construction level, like, power plug. Very, very long, like, 12 feet long. And uh, super heavy, like, f like 20 pounds at least. And uh, I believe I paid, like, 5 bucks for it. Or 10 bucks, rather. And it sold for, like, 150, 160 bucks or something like that. So, after eBay fees and shipping, I made, you know, I, I made a cool, easy 140 bucks or something off of it uh, when it's all said and done. Probably less, maybe like a hundred, maybe like a bill, maybe one twenty or something like that. More closer to after shipping, because shipping was like forty bucks, I think. Actually, now I think about it, um, thirty, forty bucks. So, um, had that. Just sold a beanie today, and that was like seventeen or eighteen bucks or whatever it was, seventeen ninety five or sixteen ninety five or whatever it was, and um, just sent that out as long as well with um. Oh, actually, I was just my OEM light that I went to UPS and uh, ground shipped it back for the replacement. So yeah, I just had that beanie today. So made like, I think it was like three or four bucks to ship out. So like I made like ten bucks off that deal or twelve bucks, whatever it was, off that beanie. I think I got it for like pennies to like peanuts. I think I got it for like twenty five cents or something that off a guy. Because I got a whole bundle of like beanies. I think I bought like uh, you know literally like eighty beanies for like five cents a piece or something like that. So yeah, I don't I, I didn't have anything in it. So um, that was a really good that was a really good score. Twelve bucks, ten bucks, twelve bucks. Pure profit. Super stoked on that. Um, we had, uh, other than that, I also did sell a, uh, oh gosh, my mind's drawing a blank. I can't really remember. Let me see. Let me pull it up, actually. Um, uh, give me one second, you guys. Sorry for the delay. I'm just looking it up right now. Uh, shoot. Uh, selling... Orders, I guess orders it would be in, or paid in ship, actually. Looking at my eBay right now. That's what it was, and then I had a jigsaw puzzle. So, oopsie-daisy on my fault, okay, because um, if you guys don't know anything about shipping and stuff like that, and, and, uh, and about, like, uh, selling, buying and selling in general, if you do eBay at all, you have to be very careful with um, with shipping costs. So, what happened was... Basically, in a nutshell, sold for about 15 bucks, right? Even, like literally even. Um, and then, you know, shipping was like literally $13. So can you believe that? Because it, because it's just, the, the box is just too big and it's just a little bit too heavy. It's like over a pound. So it's just, the, it's like the worst thing you can possibly sell on eBay. Do you know what I mean? Like big bulky stuff that are just very cheap is not a good business model for eBay at all. 
You know, it's usually like very lightweight, very expensive high tech gear or like antique rare stuff that's really good to sell for a lot of money and it's very cheap to ship, obviously. So so this one so I learned a big lesson on this one. So it was thirteen bucks, right, to ship the the actual like I think it's called like a Ravens burger jigsaw puzzle. So they literally paid thirteen bucks for it to get shipped out and I literally only got two bucks out of that out of that thing. So well, and the thing is, it, if you listen to me for a second, so what happened was I bought about 20 or 30 jigsaw puzzles uh, off off some lady like that lives like a uh, uh, few blocks from where I live. So I'm, uh, I think I got it. I think I bought all I bought 20 or 30 uh, puzzles like actual in the box, like complete and everything that I bought like 20 or 30 of them. From this lady for about five bucks, I think. She like she gave it. She gave it to me for peanuts. Like literally, just didn't want it. Sold it to me for five bucks for all of them, all thirty of them. So that one, I l I only made two bucks. But the thing is, I bought thirty of them for for literally five bucks. So I made half my money back already on just that one two dollar sale. The thing is, now that I learned, and and just remembered that the actual uh cost of shipping is way high. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to charge 1290 1295 or 9.95, 12.95 around that that ballpark for shipping just alone. And then I'm going to put the price on top of that. So it'll probably be I'll probably my for the next other 29 puzzles I'm going to sell, I'm probably going to put, you know, 9.95 shipping plus 19.95 for the actual puzzle or tw you know, 29.95 or 39.95 however rare or expensive or, or very sought after it is. That's how much I'll put it for. So the next rounds, each of my puzzles should really, really, really rake back in a lot of money. You know, and the thing is, you know, especially with puzzles, they're not very sought after. So you really have to sit on them for a long time, you know. So it's, it's just, it's a give and take, you know, with, with, with you know, uh, mediocre or just very less than average, not very, not very want, want, uh, you know, wanted items and stuff like that. So you just have to wait for the right buyer. And, um, yeah, that's no problem. I can wait. You know what I mean? And if it doesn't sell, who cares? I'll just, I'll just, lesson learned, I'll put it down for cheap, make my money back, whatever, you know. But overall, I think I did a great, great, great purchase on that deal, getting 30, 30, 30 puzzles for about five bucks or whatever it was. Um, and I think that was a great, I think that was a steal. Because if one of them sells for, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60 bucks, um, you know, I, you know, I quadrupled my money, uh, you know, a hundred fold on just one puzzle, you know, so I think it was a good, it was a great pickup, you know, and it was a great lesson learned. Um, and that's one thing is in business, you would not believe, man, I learned so much every single day, every single transaction, every single mess up, every single success, failure, all that kind of stuff in business, it all correlates into what, into my experience and what I know not to do and what to do next time. So it's just amazing. Um, that's why I love business so much is because it's such uh, a, you know, a twisted maze of, um, of learning, you know, of, of constant learning. You know, it's constantly messing up, constantly, you know, and hopefully succeeding on doing the right thing every time and making 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 money, making good sales and stuff. So there's a lot of things that go into play to making a lot of money, um, you know, business-wise when you're buying and selling stuff. I mean, it definitely is a crazy – it's crazy, you know, because you can you, – you, you know, in the beginning, I remember I used to lose so much money. I used to lose so much money, you know. I used to buy broken stuff all the time, didn't test it, didn't know what I was doing. But, but that's just what you do when you're a beginner. You just learn. You know, you're going to get ripped off for sure. You're gonna buy the wrong stuff, and you're gonna sell it for t you know the wrong price, and and you're gonna buy it for the wrong price. The whole nine, I did. I went through the whole thing, man. Lost thousands of dollars, you know. Even lost thousands of dollars, um, you know, uh, you know, on, on auto mechanics, you know, on cars because I just didn't know what I was doing. You know, I go to the you know the car lot. The guy sell me a car for five grand, and I, and I'd fuck up and sell it for two grand, you know, three grand, whatever that. I lose a couple grand, like you know, in the matter of you know weeks or months. You know, and that's one thing is, you know, and cars break down and this and that happen and engines blow up and, and there's something wrong with this and that and it costs a gazillion dollars to fix. So especially auto mechanics and especially business, you have to be very careful for um, monetarily, uh, all that kind of stuff. You just have to know about everything to uh, to to 
to uh, succeed and to actually have everything run smooth, have your car run smooth. You know, you need to know about everything, about everything about cars, about everything about auto mechanics and auto repairing and that kind of stuff. Unless you, unless you just don't care and don't want to know and enjoy, you know, forking over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten grand every time, every time it breaks down on you. So that's that's what I do is I prevent really, really, really big, you know, ho- you know, wallet hole burning, money, money burning moments. You know, that's 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 my goal in life is is to avoid those moments by being prepared and knowing what to do and how to repair it and how to fix everything and how to go about everything. That's that's what my profession is, is is to avoid, you know, uh, uh Horrible circumstances and horrible situations, you know, uh, losing a lot of money to me is considered a very horrible circumstance or a very horrible situation. So that's why that's why I make sure that, uh, you know, you know, I constantly learn every single day. You know, I'm always, always, always on it, on everything. You, you know, you wouldn't believe it um, from, uh, you know, just basic everyday laws to basic everyday, um, you know, uh you know, auto mechanics repairs, electronics repairs, tools, um, business, entertainment, all that kind of stuff. You know, it all correlates into the the best decision you can possibly make for oneself. So that's 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 the business that I'm I'm in. I enjoy being prepared and ready. You know, for 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 very horrid, messed up situations when they do and will occur. You know, so that's that's what I do. Um, you know, overall though, everything's all right for the moment. Um, we have still have a lot of things to do, things to get, things to accomplish, a ton of stuff. Especially this website right now. It's the biggest thing on my plate right now is the website. So I gotta just get on that website like tomorrow or in the next few days and really just make it into reality. Because even if my friend doesn't come through and help me i'm still gonna get it up and running regardless i would just love if they help me with it because i know they know exactly what they're doing because because their site looks amazing so yeah very 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 crazy stuff online you need, you need to know a ton of stuff to how to do do all this stuff correctly so it's insane it's an it's an insane road but um i'm willing to go through it to uh you know because the reward is your business will flourish eventually Eventually, your business will flourish and you start actually seeing money come into your life because of it. It's the most insane thing, but it's so true. Um, yeah, so I'm faced with a whole bunch of crazy obstacles right now, work-wise. You know, going to my full-time job, doing, you know, 500, 600 plus eBay orders, eBay items, um, posting them, posting five to 600, you know, about 600 items. On top of that, getting an increase and then posting way more. Um, on top of that, you know, doing the website. On top of that, um, getting my teeth fixed. I have to go to the dentist pretty soon to get all my teeth fixed. On top of that, I got auto, auto mechanic, you know, issues and all that kind of stuff. So just, just, just a whirlwind, a cyclone, a literal world-ending field of craziness going on. You know, that, just that stuff. I didn't even go super deeply into it. It's insane. It's insane. You know, it's insane, you know. And the thing is, I know about it and I'm aware of it because um, I just love to keep track of my life and and know exactly what's going on and making sure I get all this stuff done to uh, make those problems go away and disappear. So, um it's insane, you know, and it, you know, you know what it is. Uh, I think it's called, you know, workaholicism. You know, it's 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 an addiction, is what it is. You know, I'm addicted to problems. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it boils down to. Is that, um, you know, I don't ha- I don't know I don't like to live my life bored and at peace. It always needs to be chaotic, and it always needs to be, um, constantly improving, and upgrading. Because otherwise I feel stagnant. That's just that's just the way my mind works. So you know, and I'm sure a lot of a lot of other people are like that as well too. But mine, it's very bad. You know, it just feels like it feels. You know, it it always felt like if I wasn't doing anything, it felt like um, I was losing. You know, some invisible war. And I know it's true. You know what I mean? Because everybody's after the. You know, everybody's after the. The premium awesome life of having a really good jobs and really good money coming in and all that kind of stuff. But the thing is to actually make it 
happen and make it come into reali reality is you have to make all this stuff happen. You know, it's all a prerequisite for, for, the, for the craziness that's about to ensue, which is fame, which is fame, which is mass fortune, which is all that kind of stuff that goes in, in, into it. I know it. I know it. You know, even though it's so far away in the horizon, I see it. And the thing is, you know, I really feel like this round, at this age in my life, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for big things to come down. And that's the only time it actually ever will happen is when you're actually ready, when you actually understand how to how to go about everything. So, you know, absolutely amazing. Um, overall, I can't believe I made it this far. Super stoked on that. Um, I'd like to thank all my family, friends, and supporters and uh, subscribers for uh, helping me out along the way. And I got a ton of stuff coming in. Um, and it's actually going to be happening very, very soon. Um, a lot of stuff's going to be happening. Going to start my art collection. Going to finish up my fourth book. Going to do all the eBay orders. Going to get my teeth fixed. Going to get the the the, uh, the car fixed. Um, going to keep my job and work every single day. So a lot of craziness going on right now. You know, it's just every day. It's just every day is a crazy battle. You know, but I love it. And and the thing is, I see a very bright future for myself. Um, um, because I know I'm going to do nothing but just put my head down and work every single day and make sure all this crazy hard stuff happens because the payoff is going to be epic. So super stoked on that. Um, and, uh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait to get started and work hard every single day. That's it. You know, the moment I wake up, I work until the moment I fall asleep and that's all, you know, and when I'm not working, I'm laying down in bed, I'm watching TV and learning and learning, you know, building up my brain power and stuff like that. And, and being aware of all, you know, all kinds of situations, all kind of business and all kind of tech, all kind of this and that, all kind of life stuff and metaphors and quotes and history and, and the future and the present and music reviews, movie reviews, all that kind of stuff that I do. It's uh, it, it all correlates to, uh, you know, my well-being in general and making better decisions on a day to day basis. So super stoked on that. I love computer tech as well, too. I love learning about all that kind of stuff from Windows 11 to Apple, iOS and all that kind of stuff. And learning about all the tech and gadgets and cool gadgets they have available these days and cool cars and this and that. So and tools, especially. Um, so I love it. I love it all. And, uh, I, um, that's it for today. That was a zaps one. This is zaps one fifty two, And I will see you guys, I believe, or one thirty two. I apologize. Zaps one thirty two, um, today. Um, and I, I believe I will see you guys tomorrow on zaps one thirty three. Um, and I hope you guys have a very, very lovely day, and I'll see you guys then. Thank you all, family, friends, supporters, new subscribers, and new followers. Please do me a favor if you guys are on YouTube or Anchor. Please give it a like and a subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Um, with that being said, I hope you all have a lovely, wonderful day, um, day, evening, noon, night, whatever time you listen to this, and I hope you guys have a good one. See you then. Take care.